I'm done with this, I'm taking my boards and then I'm going online to get my bachelor's. between the instructors and the students and they involve us a lot in group activities and really get us you know thinking about uh, all the things that we study and put make it a real life situation Good evening, it's a special pleasure to welcome you here this evening. Our trustees, faculty, staff, families, and especially the graduates of 2012. We have a large group of graduates tonight, but parents, I want you to know that this year we have 528 graduates and although we have a great representative sample of those, uh, we may have needed a larger facility if everyone had decided to march this evening. But that is a record number of graduates for College of the Mainland. And we're very excited for these young people. One of the traditions at College of the Mainland is that we ask students to nominate faculty members for Teacher of the Year. I would like to ask them to call, uh, stand as I call their name, Dr. Elizabeth, or Professor Elizabeth Hammett, Susan Napoli, Susan Plasek, Delel Serda, and Bernie Smiley. I'm pleased to announce that Professor Smiley was selected as Teacher of the Year. Do you have any advice for freshmen? Uh, it's not as bad as you think. You know, just, you know, be open, make friends, you know. Teachers are great, you know, they're not tough. You know, they're, they're experienced in their field, you know. So if you have any questions, don't be afraid to approach them, you know, because they're all friendly. They'll help you out. So. Tonight, we're going to re recognize three graduates who uh, have spent their time at College of the Mainland, productively most of the time, I'm sure, uh, based on their achievements later in life, I'm sure it was very productive. The first person we will recognize is Julie Dews Master. Julie, uh, ask me to read a few comments to you and I will read a few of those. She uh, sends her apologies that she was not able to be here but she wants me to point out that your degree at College of the Mainland will present opportunities for you that you have not yet had time or opportunity to imagine. And I will close by a couple of brief comments. She said, I continue to this day to brag about and acknowledge the tremendous teaching staff at College of the Mainland. As a mediocre student at Dickinson High School, I only took the required courses, never pushing myself to challenge my intellect which led me to doubt my ability to succeed in college. And she goes on to point out that it was the faculty at College of the Mainland who changed that attitude and demonstrated to her that she did have greater capability and that convinced her to go on and get her bachelor's degree from Texas Tech University. So tonight, she really does deserve to be one of our distinguished alumni. Our second distinguished alum, Dr. Troy E. Cyber. After finishing at College of the Mainland, 
He went on to get a BS in biology at the University of Houston Clear Lake. He then went to the University of Texas Southwestern Medical School where he earned his uh, MD. After that, he earned a master's in public health at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. As he expressed it, my experience at COM are these. COM is a family. More than other institutions I have attended, having a college in our community that understands the dynamic of family and how that can make you successful is worth more to me and my career than I would, would have gained from any other institution, bigger or less intimate. I'd like to ask Dr. Seibert's parents, who are with us tonight, to come and accept the award on his behalf. The third award goes to Mark E. Chevalier of Texas City. In addition to being a practicing attorney, he was formerly a municipal court judge in the city of Texas City, was a, a partner in a law firm in Texas City before he then joined the Leinbarger, Grogan, Blair, and Sampson firm and now serves as a managing partner for their Galveston County office. It's symbolic that I am back here at Common in a way. Um, it's tremendous that uh, life kind of takes us in circles, and my long and arduous path of education started at College of the Mainland, sat in many of the same seats, walked the same hallways as you, and went on for a very long time. But here we are back at College of the Mainland. We will always share that connection. You will always share the connection amongst yourselves. I hope you will always look at College of the Mainland fondly. It is a tremendous institution, very important in our community. It will always be part of what gave you opportunity. So I hope you'll think fondly of College of the Mainland as I do and in your future endeavors. One of the best things about College of the Mainland is that they offer the internship program, and I'm interning at BP, which they just offered me a job two weeks ago. Thank you, College of the Mainland. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Science please rise? President Durrance, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associate of Science. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for the degree as prescribed by College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of Associate of Science from the College of the Mainland. Haley Belcher. Kendall Blake Cleveland. William Briggs. So what advice would you have for freshmen students? Do not lose your syllabus. <laughs> do not, do not lose your syllabus. It will help you in the end. And just do your homework or whatever assignments you have on time and talk to your professors. Professors are going to be your best friend. Tammy Michelle Canales. Rafaela Barbosa. Kashan Anderson. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. And a final congratulations to our graduates and the beginning of a brighter future as you move on to the next step in your life. We are proud of you, and we will watch your career with interest. Thank you, and have a great evening.